Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we've been taking a look at uh, trig functions um, and their relations to triangles. We took a look at some inverse trig. Uh, we also took a look at the unit circle. Um, so right now we're going to take a look at uh, two important laws using sine and cosine, named the law of sine and the law of cosine. So uh, the law of sine and cosine, they both relate the angles of a triangle to the sides of a triangle. Uh, the law of sine is super easy to use. We have the sine of an angle theta over the uh, side opposite it. So we have theta here, A over here, uh, equals the sine of an angle beta uh, divided by the opposite side. So sine of beta over B equals sine of theta over A, which is also equal to the sine of phi, this angle, over C, its opposite side. It's a great law to work with. Uh, there's a couple cases where we'd rather work with this, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that in just a minute. But this is the law of cosines. Uh, again, it's going to relate um, the sides of the triangle to the angles. Uh, it's a little bit messier to work with, but it's always going to give us the right answer uh, because it involves taking a cosine inverse, which is always between 0 and 180 degrees, uh, whereas um, with a sine inverse, we need to make sure that uh, we're working from 0 to 90 degrees because both uh, acute and uh, obtuse angles have positive values of sine. Uh, so essentially, we're only going to work with the law of sines um, when we know that the angle that we're working with is acute. So we have a squared, this side, equals b squared plus c squared, the other two sides, minus 2bc, which is those two sides, times the cosine of theta, which is the angle opposite of A. And then the uh, other two laws for cosine, for this triangle at least, B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of beta. And then again, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of phi, which is the angle opposite of C. These laws are going to be extremely useful because given only three uh, values of a triangle. So it could be all three angles or it could be uh, A, B, and C. If you're given a side, you can figure out, if you're given uh, three of those values, you can figure out what the uh, corresponding um, values for the triangle are. So there's a couple examples here. We're uh, given A equals two feet, B equals seven feet, and beta equals 53 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw out that triangle so it's easy to visualize. So we want to find theta, phi, and c. Um, what we're going to do first is find theta using the law of sines. We know that this is angle is acute and we know that theta is going to be acute because it is opposite a shorter side of the triangle that is already opposite a uh, acute angle. So we know that that's going to be acute. So we have Sine of theta over 2 equals sine of 53 over 7. Multiply both sides by 2, take inverse sine. Now you need your calculator to calculate both of those signs, sine of 53 and the inverse sine. Um, and you get theta equals 13.2 degrees. Now, uh, I just want to take a brief pause to make sure that your calculator is in the correct mode. Uh, there are radian and degree modes. If you're taking the sine of 53 in degree mode, then you're going to have the sine of a 53 degree angle. But if you take the sine of 53 in um, radian mode, that's going to think that it's 53 radians. So you really need to be careful make sure that you're uh, using the correct uh, values because then you could do sine of 53 in one mode and then have the inverse sine in another mode and get this angle in radians instead of degrees or something. So make sure you're being uh, consistent all the way through the problem and using the correct 
um, mode, which in this case would be degree. So now that we have two angles of the triangle, theta equals 13.2 and uh, beta equals 53 degrees, we just add them together and subtract from 180 to find this angle phi. One eighty minus theta, which is thirteen point two, plus beta, which is fifty three degrees. So it's one eighty minus uh, sixty six point two degrees, and that angle is one hundred and thirteen point eight. So last, what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch over to the law of cosines and find what that uh, value for c is. So we have c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of phi. We have a equals 2, b equals 7. So I'm going to go ahead and just do those multiplication steps. And we have phi is 113.8. And then you're going to get C is the square root of all of that. Uh, again, you need a calculator um, to figure it out, but um, you're going to end up with a C of 8.019. So that problem involved using both the uh, law of sines and cosines. Um, now we're going to take a look at a new example. I'm going to erase this. Um, with just the sides of a triangle given. And I'm going to go ahead and instead of finding one angle and then figuring out whether or not to use the law of sines or cosines, I'm just going to go ahead and use the law of cosines uh, for all sides and all angles, and it's going to be really easy to figure out. So we have a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Minus 2ab, which is, or excuse me, 2b, uh, this is a squared, b squared plus c squared, and then minus 2bc cosine of uh, the angle opposite a, which is theta. For B, we're going to have 49 equals A squared plus C squared. Minus uh, 2 AC cosine of the angle opposite B, which is beta. And then we're going to have uh, C squared, which is 64, equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of the angle opposite C, which is phi. Now all we need to do is uh, manipulate these equations a little bit and uh, find the what we're taking the inverse uh, cosine of, and then all we need to do is just find those angles. So we have 56 plus 64 is uh, 120, and then 16 minus that is uh, negative 104, um, and then we divide by uh, that negative 112. And then we're going to have 16 plus 64 is uh, 80. 49 minus 80 is negative 31 over 64. And then we're going to have 16 plus 49 is 65. 64 minus that is negative 1 over 56, negative 56. 
So we found what the cosine of all the um, angles is equal to, and now all we need to do is take an inverse cosine of each. Um, I've already done so. You need your calculator in order to do this, but you're going to come up with theta is 29.99 degrees. Beta is 88.98. And phi is 61.03 degrees. So you could go ahead and you could have used the uh, law of sines in order to solve this because we do have all acute angles. Um, but just in order to be careful and make sure that we're coming up with the correct answer, we use the law of cosines. Um, either one can be used, and when you're given three pieces of a triangle, you can uh, go ahead and find the other uh, measures of the triangle.